Hello and welcome to another New Blue Captivate tutorial. I'm Ian Stark for New Blue, and in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at a ridiculously powerful feature that allows you to import projects from Adobe After Effects to use right from inside Captivate. It's probably fair to say that motion graphics designers like to work in Adobe After Effects. It's robust, it's fully featured, and it's an industry standard design tool. And let's not forget the growing availability of thousands of ready-made After Effects projects and motion graphics templates available to buy online for just a few bucks. In particular, the Mogut format provides a convenient packaged way to deliver an After Effects design, including all its related media, while also exposing specific controllable parameters such as text and colours. The issue with After Effects, though, is that you need to render the project, which then locks in the content. You can't use After Effects project with live data. The few available solutions required labour-intensive conversions, often sacrificing key design elements such as animated text and impeding both productivity and creative vision. Captivate approaches the problem in an entirely different and innovative way. Captivate actually integrates with After Effects and connects the After Effects design directly to your live data using intelligent caching technology to manage the render. It's all done on the fly, and that means you can connect the design to live data and play it out in real time. I know, I too giggled like a four-year-old at Christmas when I first heard this. So, if you're able to contain your excitement, let's take a look at how easy it is to do all this in Captivate. By the way, for this to work, After Effects and Captivate both need to be installed on the same Windows or Mac computer, and you'll need the broadcast edition of Captivate. Here's a simple lower third that I've designed in After Effects. Let's head over to Captivate now and build our project. I'll use this still image for the background, and now in the project panel I'll choose Import After Effects from the right-click menu. I'll select my lower third project, and if this is your first use, you'll see this new feature notice, which, when you've read it, can be dismissed forever with a single click. If your After Effects project contains more than one composition, simply choose the one you want to import. In the background, After Effects is automatically opened and builds the graphic. And if I play the graphic on, you can see it appears exactly as it does in After Effects, and thanks to our pause point, which I'll talk about more later, it will hold on air until I play it off. I can now do anything I'd be able to do with a regular Captivate graphic. Let's change the name. And lo and behold, the old text animates off and the new text animates on, using exactly the animation I designed in After Effects. You'll notice that the elements of the graphic that don't change remain on screen the whole time, which is much more pleasing to look at. In the preview window, let me now reposition and resize the graphic. Glorious. And now I'm going to head over to the values grid where I've already set up three names and titles. And as you can see, I can switch between them at leisure. Taking that one step further, and here's the same graphic connected to an external spreadsheet using a data controller. Now let's take a look at importing a Mogut. Straight After Effects projects are limited to just text and image variables. But Mogut's can include other attributes like colors, checkbox toggles, and much more, which you can then edit right from inside Captivate. The import process is exactly the same as with an After Effects project, and this is a fantastic example created by a customer. Here it is in After Effects. And here it is in Captivate, now linked to a spreadsheet. This spreadsheet contains paths to different image files stored on my network, and as you can see, I can click between them to bring the different sticky notes into my playout. And there you have it. This has been a fairly high-level overview to show you how easy it is to start using After Effects compositions in your Captivate projects. Before we finish up, though, I'd like to just take a moment to give you a couple of quick hints that will really help you if you're preparing your own After Effects designs to use in Captivate. Firstly, you'll want to make sure that there isn't any dead time in the project. In other words, when the graphic is played on and is just sitting there before playing off, rather than needlessly rendering all that dead time, we can strip it out and replace it with a simple marker at the point between the lower third playing on and playing off. Now, this marker needs to contain the word pause. 
then that's the trigger that Captivate looks for to hold the graphic on screen before you manually initiate the playoff. If Captivate doesn't find a pause marker, it assumes you just want to play the graphic straight through. It sets the pause point for you at exactly the halfway point and also sets the duration here. If you want the graphic to play in, then hold and wait for you to play it out, simply set this to zero and then it'll do exactly what you expect. Best practice though is for you to set up that pause marker in the After Effects project and that way you retain total control of timing. There's a lot more depth to this subject including some more best practices for preparing projects and we'll cover those just as soon as I've picked myself up off the floor at how brilliant this feature is. I'm Ian Stark for New Blue and until next time, thanks for watching. Oh,